Money FM 89.3. News headlines from The Straits Times. Good morning. I'm Jason Dacey, and this is your Money FM news update. Ukraine has refused to rule out that the plane that crashed in Iran and killed all 176 people on board was struck by a missile. The foreign ministry in Kiev confirmed that all 176 people aboard the Boeing 737-800 flown by Ukraine International Airlines were killed when it came down shortly after departing from the Iranian capital of Tehran on Wednesday. The majority of passengers were from Iran and Canada. Initially, Ukraine's embassy in Iran said that engine failure caused the plane to crash and denied that it was terror-related or that a rocket had hit the aircraft. But it later withdrew this statement, saying that anything was possible with Ukraine's prosecutors to open criminal proceedings over the crash. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will take a step back as senior royals and work to become financially independent. In a statement released by Buckingham Palace, Prince Harry and Meghan also said they plan to split their time between the UK and North America. The couple said they will continue to fully support the Queen. The announcement comes after Prince Harry and Meghan publicly revealed their struggles under the media spotlight and comes, they say, after many months of reflection and internal discussions. In local news, it's been revealed that Singaporean football match fixer Dan Tan Seat Eng was released from custody last month. He'd been detained without trial since October 2013 for allegedly running an international football match-fixing syndicate. Once named by Interpol as the leader of the world's most notorious match-fixing syndicate, the 55-year-old Tan was kept behind bars for more than six years under the Criminal Law Temporary Provisions Act for his alleged rigging of football matches in Europe, Africa and Turkey. In Asian news, eight Chinese patients diagnosed with an unidentified viral pneumonia were released from hospital on Wednesday after showing no signs of fever for several days. That's according to state-owned media. The pneumonia outbreak started in the central city of Wuhan last December and 59 cases had been reported by Sunday, prompting fears of a possible SARS epidemic. The city has since ruled out SARS, MERS and bird flu and says it's still trying to identify the virus. And disgraced auto executive Carlos Ghosn reportedly almost bumped into Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe at an upscale Tokyo hotel as he began his daring escape from a looming trial for financial misconduct. Public broadcaster NHK showed a map of Ghosn's movements after he left his house in the Japanese capital on December the 29th, indicating he met up with collaborators at the Grand Hyatt in Tokyo before catching a train to Osaka. Shortly after, Abe checked into the same hotel for his annual New Year break. Ghosn's Hollywood movie-like escape saw him sneak onto a private jet at Kansai International Airport, taking him to Lebanon via Turkey in an embarrassing episode for Abe and his government.